Welcome back. This is episode two of my four part series on abortion in the US. Now in this episode, I'm going to tell you why research says people are getting abortions and how they report feeling after. Hi, I'm Thomas and I'm a sex researcher. If you're thinking about getting an abortion, along with being concerned about pain and where you can get one or who can take you, you're probably also concerned about how you're going to feel after. Are you going to be depressed, regret your decision, or are you going to be happy with the choice you made? To shed some light on this, I reviewed some research on women who have had abortions. So I'm going to tell you about three studies briefly, and then I'm going to tell you what all of the findings sort of say together. What is the big takeaway? How can you decide if it's the right choice for you or not? The main themes of all of these studies are that the woman believes having a child would dramatically change her life. She can't afford a baby right now, she doesn't want to be a single mother, or there are relationship issues. So these seem like some pretty understandable reasons, but are there mental health consequences to having an abortion? A study published in 2015 followed the same 667 women who had had an abortion for three years and wanted to learn about if they regret their decision. They reported that at all time points, over nine 99% of the participants reported still thinking abortion was the right decision for them. They also reported that both positive and negative emotions related to their decision declined over time. What that means is that if you're someone who has an abortion and right after feels either depressed or relieved, that feeling is likely going to diminish rather quickly. They also reported that high community stigma around abortion and lower social support were associated with more negative emotions following the abortion. What that means is that if you have a ton of people around you telling you how terrible you are or that abortion is wrong all the time, you're likely going to feel worse about your decision for a longer period of time following the abortion. The next study I want to tell you about was published in 2017 and included 956 women, which they followed for five years. They wanted to examine depression and anxiety after having an abortion. They compared women who had had an abortion in the first trimester to those who had had an abortion up to two weeks before their limit, those who were initially denied an abortion and then had an abortion somewhere else, and those who were denied an abortion and then gave birth. In terms of depression, they reported that across all groups, depression was lowest initially among those that had an abortion in the first trimester, and that depression declined over time for all groups, except those that were denied an abortion and then gave birth. In terms of anxiety, initially anxiety was the highest for the groups that had been denied an abortion, and anxiety declined steadily over time for all groups. Again, except for those that were denied an abortion and then gave birth. The last study I want to tell you about was a meta-analysis published in 2011 that combined outcomes from different studies published between 1995 and 2009. In total, there were over 870,000 participants and almost 164,000 of those had had an abortion. They compared women who had had abortions to those who had unintended pregnancies and delivered, those who had intended pregnancies and delivered, and those who were never pregnant. They reported that when combining results from all 22 studies, there was an 81% increase in the risk of mental health problems for women who had had abortions and that 10% of that increase was directly attributable to the abortion. As you can tell, these are some mixed results between studies. And across literature, this is what I've found. There's no definitive answer about how someone is going to feel after having an abortion. However, it appears that the big things that might impact how someone feels after is how they feel before and what social support networks are in place for them. It's estimated that one in four women will have an abortion in the United States by the age of 45. And not all of these women have mental health issues attributed to having an abortion. So there's likely no direct cause and effect relationship and tons of factors could mediate this association. It's important that we examine and understand what these factors might be. If you're considering an abortion, try and talk about it with people who are not going to try and tell you what to do, but are just going to listen and be supportive of you as an individual in where you are. People who really care about you aren't going to push their agenda. They're going to openly listen to what you have to say. And there's tons of research that shows that when people make their own decisions based on their own reasoning, their own pros and cons, they're less likely to regret those decisions later. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. 
I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.